For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team, and happy holidays. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my top five offensive and defensive playbooks to use in one video because I put out a video like this earlier in the year, but the game has changed so much, and I know a lot of people are getting the game now for Black Friday and will probably be getting it again soon for Christmas, so I want to do an updated version of this video. As always, though, if you guys want to continue to make updated versions of some of these videos throughout the year that Woo! can change or be outdated through time, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. If you guys want more help, I have ebooks for every single playbook that I'm going to go over today as these are the best playbooks in the game to me so if you guys want to download them all you have to do is click on the links in the description or the top pin comment i'm going to start off with defense there's really only two playbooks that i recommend or that i've been using the entire year starting off with my favorite playbook to use right now and that's the las vegas raiders this playbook here is my favorite because it has two of my favorite defenses which is the three four odd which i feel is kind of mandatory if you're going to play uh in this year's game i think three four odd definitely the best large base defense that you can use uh, whether it's three four four three this one to me is definitely the best as it has the most uh, the best gap assignments as the best uh, you know just best way to create leverage all types of things it's really one of the best blitz packages pass defense run defense I've used this since the game came out and it really has done wonders for me the next best big formation here is definitely the four three even six one which has been a very popular formation for a very long time and it's still a very good pass and run formation as well and then the best passing formation uh, definitely one of the most diverse is the big nickel over G, which is pretty much the only other formation that I use. If you look at some of the, uh, the the variations of this particular scheme, there's really close to like 10 good plays in this entire formation. You can run this formation the entire game, and there's so much diversity because there's so many plays. There's three, there's three pages of plays here, and there's about nine per page. So you can see that, you know, there's close to like 20 plus plays here. Like I said, it's very uh, deep play system it's one of the best formations in the game after that you do have your dime two three six which is going to be your dollar uh replacement you have a lot of good nickel packages uh you got the the, the three three cub which is probably one of the better base defenses too which more pass leaning but still one of the best base defenses in the game and this is my favorite defense to use right now so if i'm giving out any recommendations for defensive playbooks this one's it and i might switch to the next one though the next defense that I recommend is out of the alternate playbooks, and that is the multi-D defense. It has the 3-4 odd, which I just mentioned is probably one of my favorite, but it doesn't have the 4-3 even like the Raiders. It does have a lot of very good 4-3 variations and also has the 5-2 normal, which is a very unique defense. But ultimately, I probably would stay in the 3-4 all game. It's nice to have uh, a formation or a playbook that has 3-4 and 4-3, though, if you like to run both of those base packages. Once you get to the nickel formations, it doesn't have the big nickel over G either, which I still feel is one of the more important formations to have, and that's why I use the Raiders. But it has a lot of really good replacements. Formations like the Dime Normal, which is probably one of the better ones to use in the game right now. It has the 3-3 and the 3-3 Cub, which is pretty rare. There aren't a lot of playbooks that have that, as people still like to switch over from one to the other from time to time. And it also has the Dollar Defense, which is one of the better small package defenses in the game. Although, like I said, the Raiders had something very similar. This, though, also has two two different quarter formations and quarter formations especially when it comes to passing defense is one of the best in the game so these two playbooks are very different so it really depends on what type of playbook you like to run but they both have their strengths my first recommendation for offense is easily going to be what a lot of people consider the meta in the New York Jets. This playbook to me is a little too meta, which is why you haven't seen me use it in my gameplay videos, but it's definitely one of the best. The formations that I recommend the most out of this would definitely be the I-Form Close, since it's a formation that I've used quite a bit in the next two playbooks I'm going to show you guys, and the Strong Close, which is another uh, really good passing and running formation. Those two are some of the best, but it also has a lot of gun bunch formations, which is once again is another reason I don't typically use the playbook myself is because gun bunches are just a little bit too meta and they're just a little bit too boring because everybody runs them but the gun bunch is a really good formation this bunch strong offset is a really good formation and probably my favorite if i were to use this playbook and i'm sure i will at some point would be the gun bunch te as this has one of the best uh, variation of that in the entire game and that's probably the reason that this is one of the most popular playbooks that a lot of people use is those three formations but without a doubt if you want an overpowered meta style playbook the New York Jets is one of the best to use now the next playbook is definitely an off meta style playbook and that's the Denver Broncos if you guys follow this channel you know that I use the New Orleans Saints for a very long time and I still feel the New Orleans Saints is probably one of the best playbooks one of the best ebooks that I made this year but I switched to the Denver Broncos this year because these playbooks were so overpowered based off of the coach Sean Payton who is now in Denver 
and Denver just has a lot more variety. The Saints have one of the best formations in the game in the gun stack wide flex, and it's still one of the best playbooks, as I'm going to put it in the honorable mentions category. I also want to do a quick honorable mention about what's probably the best running playbook, the best running playbook with quarterbacks, and the best trick play playbook, which would be the Baltimore Ravens, which is an ebook that I'm working on now and haven't finished yet. Should be out by the end of the month, but that would be another playbook that I want to mention as my honorable mention. If I were to expand this to top five offensive playbooks, I would definitely say Ravens would be in the top five and the Saints would be in the top five as well. But the Denver Broncos just has so much more diversity and so many more great plays. I've already broken down several offenses from the Denver Broncos, including the single back tight way off, the iPhone close, which I just mentioned in the last playbook, and one of my favorites, the gun wing flex offset, which is one of the better, uh, lesser known formations in the entire game. I typically try to stick to off meta formations, and this particular playbook has a ton of them, including a lot of really good ones that I never even got a chance to go over, like the doubles hip, which is brand new to Madden, and also a very good uh, offensive formation that I saved, particularly for my ebooks. But if you guys want an off meta with a lot of new formations, the Denver Broncos is one of the best ways to go. And then last but not least, I got my newest offensive ebook, and that's the San Francisco 49ers. Since the game changed in the October 4th patch where they really changed the requirements for read and react defense, I feel like it really changed the game to become more of a traditional I-form, uh, fullback, pound the run, three tight end type of game. And this particular playbook is probably one of the best playbooks because that's how the Niners like to play in real life. They have probably the best I-form close formation out of all the playbooks that I mentioned. They have a lot of really good, uh, strong, and uh, single back formations that have a lot of you know multiple looks when it comes to tight ends which really gives you a huge advantage now their single back tight way off which i just mentioned in the denver playbook they probably have a better version of that as they have several plays that that particular playbook doesn't have making this maybe one of the best variations of that like i said also with the eye from close so you have two formations that i was using in both books but this one has the better version in both of them. You also have a really good uh, formation that's been very popular for a very long time in the gun split close, another formation that I already broke down. And they have a lot of similar uh, formations that can work with that, like the slot wide receiver backfield or the Debo package and the split twin stack, which are very good formations that you can just dink and dunk all game. If you play Mutt, I would say those three formations are probably three of the harder ones to stop. And they also have very good bunch formations and things like that, which like I said, I typically try to stay out of because they've just been used for so long but without a doubt this is one of the best newer formations and one of the bigger reasons why i wanted to remake this video because i feel like the game has changed so much at the beginning of the year it was about passing where now i feel the game is really more based on running which is you know why i wanted to update this video so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there like i said if you guys want to see any of the full breakdowns that i made of some of these offenses i will have them popping up on screen because i did make a lot of breakdowns about the offenses and defenses that i mentioned in this video so if you want to see that click the links other than that thanks for watching man shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below